just take me through right. what you think mm. is, you know, the stories around the really new bits right. in right. this. So this is... Well, the, 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 this is mainly um, a, a material drawn from the complete works. But there are some things that have come up recently. The first of these is a letter that Orwell wrote from Barn Hill to say he was far too uh, preoccupied with Barn Hill and was writing his book to be able to write for a journal called The Strand. And he writes to the editor, Richard Usborne, author of Clubland Heroes, and but when he writes to him, he writes him an autobiography really, story of his life, uh, a, a, two or three pages of typing, Instead of just saying, no, I'm too busy, he gives them this big account of his life and then says, sorry, I can't write for the strand. Yes, but he does this quite often. There's a letter in here, which has been published before, to Jessica Marshall, who wrote to him out of the blue and asked him about a couple of authors. So he writes a long letter explaining uh, what he thinks about all these people. He has, And he's ill, he's in Hermione's hospital, but he still takes the trouble. But and these are the people he doesn't know. It, it, well, I think David um, Taylor has a sort of theory that he sometimes writes most intimately to people he doesn't know. No, yes. It's as if the opportunity to write out. Yes. And this is this is quite interesting because he says, um, uh, well, he says I, I, like this. In general, my books have been less autobiographical yes. than people have assumed. Yes. Um, there are a lot bits of truth of bi autobiography in Wigan Pier. And of course, homage to Catalonia, which is straight reporting. But those are reportage. And that's a different. Yes, that, he's saying, a he's saying straight reporting is different from autobiography. It's, it's very interesting, I think, that the two essays are hanging and shooting an elephant. People have doubted whether he saw a hanging and whether he shot an elephant. Well, we know from pretty good evidence from since about the 1970s that he did both. Uh, the man who was the vice chancellor of Rangoon University was one of those boys uh, whom he accosted on the train uh, at Pagoda Station in Rangoon and had an, uh, an altercation with and hit one of them with his stick and he was a police officer there. But he got to know Orwell and he got to admire his work and he, as, as long ago as 1970, said yes, he had shot an elephant and he had seen a hanging. Um, and also, as she always says to me, well, that little detail about stepping through the puddle, that is the, the moment when he tells you that, yes, he had actually seen it, um, when the man to be hanged does not get his feet wet. But the, the, the thing that I find most curious about it is, people tend to say, oh, couldn't write creatively. I mean, he says it himself, but he couldn't write creatively. And yet, this, the two perhaps most creative things he did, perhaps apart from... The, the notes on the common toad, but the really creative essays, they say, oh, he couldn't have seen those events. Well, that, then he's a creative writer. Now, which way are you going to have it, one or the other? And I think he, he most certainly did see those two things. The curious thing is, is that if there's any doubt in my mind, it is that in the Rangoon Gazette, just a few months before he allegedly, or did, shoot an elephant, a Major Kenny shot an elephant. And that's reported in the Rangoon Gazette. Now, the description of the Rangoon in the Rangoon Gazette it has slight parallels with um, Orwell's account, mm. in that he talks about the uh, the coolie being trampled on and the damage, and some, the, there are sort of similarities. And I can't believe that Orwell hadn't read the Rangoon Gazette. Probably one of the things you automatically read in the club every time it came. It wasn't much else. Uh, uh, about life in, in, in Burma, I think. But um, uh, it's curious to me that when he is being creative, people nearly always seem to miss it. They miss it in such, such for the choice. When he's being creative there, they miss the creative bits. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I mean, why does he start in, in such, such for the joys with uh, um, uh, an account of how he was beaten for wetting the bed? He doesn't start with the, the second section, which tells you what St. Cyprian's was like in the school, which is the normal thing that people like me, if we're writing, write basic information stuff, and you write with a basic description. He doesn't do that. He does this creative bit. He didn't wet the bed. It wasn't him. It was somebody else, the man who ends up with the VC. Mm -hmm. So you think, moral, wet the bed and you'll get the VC or something like this. But, but I mean, he, he turns it completely round. 
Um, well, so it's the often, writerly, it's the so writerly, often people miss the, they, it's the writerly eye in him. Y- yes. it? it's, the, it's the instinct for yeah. what will catch yeah. attention. And it, well, but also, you know, in, in, in Homish Gathol, when the, the, you see the man yeah. running, holding his trousers up, you can't better shoot him. You can't shoot a man holding a tra- his trousers up as he's, you know, running from some latrine or other. Uh, and these little touches are, are, are artistic touches, I think. They may not be true, but they're, uh, they're probably, he probably did see a man like that, but he may have been or whatever, I don't know. Well, the, the, um, I don't know, I, I wouldn't say that, I just think it's a writer, mm. a, an artist, a yeah. writer's eye yeah. for an incident which is more eloquent yes. and, more, yeah. and, and unexpected. Yes. I mean, yeah. that's the thing the, that gets to the heart of things and that grabs readers. So it's, yes. it's all well the writer, yes. not merely the reporter. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But of course, in these things, yeah. he, he does the, um, uh, in this, he, 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 he has this generosity of spirit with these things, which is, uh, I, I don't find surprising, but nevertheless, he goes to a great deal of trouble with people that he really doesn't know. I don't know if he ever even met uh, Richard Osborne. Uh, I don't I have no account of him ever having met him. No. Um, and he does the same with various people. Um, uh, Jessica Marshall uh, is, another, is, is, in the, is in the book. That's been published before.